Hey family, it's your girl African Export. Welcome to the Realist channel on the YT. So today I'm going to be revisiting a product that I used early on in my natural hair journey when I cut my locks. Um, many of you guys probably if you've been with me from the early early beginning you probably found me through the video with the wash and go using the smooth and shine co-activating gel um, this is the product here okay um, curl activating gel for extra dry hair with aloe vera um, in the original video um, I will try maybe to post the video below for any of you guys who are new to the channel and may have never seen it I did a wash and go using this product and one of the uh, great things about this curl activator gel in particular is some of the main ingredients it starts with water glycerin and the third ingredient is aloe um, aloe vera then you have your wheat protein so on and so forth okay so basically this is composed of a lot of all natural ingredients the first three are awesome and um, I originally started using it because it did give my curls some weight it made my curls pop but then I felt like it was extremely sticky as a lot of you guys probably know with curl activating gels they are high in glycerin content and when you use a lot of glycerin it tends to give you a greasy feeling if you're not careful so me at the stage and the length of my hair right now I really was you know missing some of that softness now my hair using less product I tend to get very very light full and fluffy twist outs as you guys have seen in the past um, but I feel like my hair was missing some of that softness and I was like let me go ahead and try the curl activator now you guys have been seeing me I've been coming on here for the past few days and you know right now I did not start off with a clean palette my hair still had um, you know the original leave-in that I used um, I've used some icy Fantasia gel um, I've used a little bit of my regular you know daily moisturizing leave-in spray that I you know I basically use the African export leave-in mixed with some water I spray that to mist my hair I've used that I've used a little bit of the shea moisture on my end so basically I'm not starting with the clean palette I just last night I misted my hair hopefully you can see get me some more light here um, I misted my hair with the um, spray leave-in and then I used this gel on each section okay so I just wanted to revisit it and see what it does for my hair um, you know my hair was extremely soft yesterday so I'm gonna just start off by taking my hair down and one thing that I'm missing so excuse me oops my bad needed my coconut oil okay um, I usually don't take down my twists without some type of oil and it usually is nine times out of ten some olive oil so just gonna just put that through my hair and I just I put the curl activator gel on my hair at night so any of the stickiness and I hate to use the word sticky but you know it does feel a little greasy you know when I first put it on but because I did it at night I'm hoping that it's not quite as bad and right now I mean my hair feels soft but it doesn't feel it doesn't have that sticky feeling okay and unlike my wash and go <coughs> excuse me I used a lot of the product this I just smoothed some in each section that was already moisturized with the spray leave-in and just twisted it up okay but my hair I can tell you now my hair does feel softer than um, you know feels it feels soft I'm gonna just start separating and I really wanted to show you guys this because um, this is one of the problems with um, trying a lot of products is sometimes you'll find something that does work and you'll try something new and you'll forget about some of the 
things that have already worked for you. So that's one of the benefits from having staple products and just kind of sticking to it. I also noticed that my hair was a lot shinier. My twists were a lot shinier with the use of the curl activator gel. And I just would suggest for a lot of you women out there who suffer from dry hair, curl activator products for the most part are extremely, extremely beneficial. I mean, gl glycerin, I honestly have not used glycerin in my regimen in quite some time. And I'm not going to say I forgot how moisturizing and how it softens my hair immediately. But I just, you know, I haven't been using it. I haven't used it in any of my leave-in sprays. It's not in my... um formulation leave-in specifically because everyone in different climates should not necessarily use glycerin um, but that's not a problem for me I'm in the Bay Area you know so there's 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 water content all up in our air so I mean my hair is definitely soft I'll definitely let me take out these twists just to kind of show you so you can see what my hair looks like using the curl activator gel um, and once I get the full twist out look then I'll give you a, a brief scoring as far as a review but I would definitely suggest um, if you can find the original Okay, because they have reformulated it and it has a different packaging that has, I think, more pink um, on the packaging. No, don't get that. If you can't find this one, then I, I don't really have any um, curl activating gel recommendations aside from this one because I know this one has worked for me in the past. So, I know you guys, y'all don't want to see me take out my twist, but I'm practically done. I'm practically done. So my hair does feel soft. It really, really does. And whew. I also, FYI, I use this on dry hair. I don't know how I would or wouldn't like this product on, you know, freshly washed hair. But I think that it is an excellent, an excellent product to use to keep your hair moisturized. Your hair will be moisturized if you use uh, curl activating products. You know, whether it be the spray leave-in moisturizers, if you're not one who wants to make your own glycerin spray. The gel is really, really good. Also, if you don't want to use it alone and you want a little bit more hold, because these are not going to give you really that, that hold. You can use it underneath. Okay, so, so far so good. I don't think you guys need to see too much more. I'm going to turn around for you guys just so you can see. But um, if you can find it, it's so funny because I had used this product last night and uh, someone of the family contacted me and asked me if I still used this product because I had that video from a while back using the product. And I was saying, oh, well, you know, kind of great minds think alike. Like, I am just revisiting this product. So I will definitely do a video for you guys to let you see the results of curl activating gel for my twist out. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, my hair is definitely soft. It is definitely, definitely soft. So I will probably um, use this for my like day two styling of a twist out usually day one is really just to air dry it and I never really have the length um, and the stretch that I really really like until day two so I will probably continue to use um, use the curl activating gel for day two and then um, basically keep that hair style for the week so this is it this is the twist out using the curl activating gel by smooth and shine for extra dry hair which is what I have let me zoom in that may be helpful and I'm gonna give you guys the back 
shot okay and mind you I did separate using my coconut oil that I always use okay and I'll turn around for you guys okay so hey when I say keep it simple you sometimes you got to keep it old school okay all of you guys who got parents that are probably about my age my parents age 60s uh, 50s 60s people who grew up in the 60s who had some afros ask them they probably will be able oh I use this and that to keep my afro softer so yeah smooth and shine curl activating gel the original okay so hopefully you guys enjoy this kind of uh, review of this product I definitely recommend if you're suffering from dry hair you probably want to check out and try some curl activating products they are excellent and a lot of them if you think about it I mean they're designed for us in mind so you know if it's gonna keep our hair soft I think that we should definitely keep that in mind as far as products to um, use on our hair because it definitely keeps your hair moisturized just another tip if you're not uh, a person who likes to buy a lot of commercial products or you like something all natural you can uh, play around obviously with just some regular all natural aloe vera gel 100 percent and mix your own glycerin mix it together if you want you can add some oils but you want to be careful because you can make it a little bit greasy you can also add some essential oils to that as well and this will help you um, achieve kind of the same um, product but in your own kitchen so I will talk to you guys really really soon keep it real until next time bye